So hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Prakriti and in today's video, I am going to be doing a get ready with me for Diwali wherein I will try to do a little glow up and skin pamper thing and then I will try to do a basic makeup look that is very easy to recreate and then my dress, jewellery and much more. So the entire video has this festive Diwali mood and so does my backdrop. If you like it, please consider subscribing to my channel. So yes, without much ado, let's just dive straight into the video. So yes, I have cleansed my face using this simple face wash which is one of my favorites and is really good for sensitive and oily skin people so next i'll be using innisfree super volcanic pore clay mask but i liked it so much that i bought the entire tub as you can see and i so kafi use kiya but still iski quantity is quite great i'll be applying a thin layer of it so as it's a clay mask it gives you a really cooling effect after applying it it has pore tightening properties sebum control and it like deep cleanses your skin and it's really good for oily skin people after this i'll just keep it on for about 10 minutes and then wash it off with lukewarm water so i've washed off my face and my skin feels really soft and bright so yes next i'll be using my all-time favorite kama ayurveda's rose water then i'll be moisturizing my face using this simple light moisturizer so next i'll be going in with a facial oil and it's from glamorous their dream skin facial oil this i actually got in a collab and it's like really nice so i am done applying this oil and you can already see how my skin looks so yes moving forward with the primer and i'll be using my all-time favorite swiss beauties real makeup base primer and who does not like a glowy base in this festive mood so yes it's like really good like as per me if your skin is prepped properly your base would end up looking really flawless so that's what i am focusing on today so i'm prepping my skin really well so you can see the glow it has provided to my skin and that's why i like this primer a lot so giving this timer some time to set on my face until then i'll just quickly change in my outfit and be right back so moving ahead with this fit me foundation and i'm in the shade 230 natural buff so i'm not going with any full coverage foundation so that it gives me a really natural finish i'm firstly like spreading it with my fingers so that product wastes now and this sponge does not absorb a lot of product and then i'll be like blending this with my sponge i have like literally taken a lot of time blending my foundation so that it looks seamless and then i'll be moving forward with the concealer and it is also from Maybelline and I'm in the shade 25 medium. I'll just go about a little in my inner corner and then drag that product inside. I'll also put some around my mouth and then I'll quickly set my eyes before it starts creasing using this Fit Me Compact. I'll just set under my eyes and around my mouth and nose where I tend to get oily the most. So I'm done setting my face and for my eyebrows I'll be using this Etude House drawing pencil and I'll be right back after doing my eyebrows. So I'm done with my eyebrows and moving forward with the eye look so I'm using this palette from Revolution and it's a really pretty and versatile palette to have. So for today's look I'll be creating a very simple two shadow look. For the crease shade I'll be using this shade. I'll just put this on my crease area and with very light hands I'll just blend this on my lid. Similarly I'll do the same on the other eye as well. Now I'll take a bit darker brown shade like this shade and place it in the outer V of my eye with small strokes and light hand I'll keep on blending the color now I'll be using this golden glitter shade in the inner corner of my eye I'll be taking this on my finger only so this is the shade as you can see I'll just be applying this on my inner corner and it looks absolutely stunning so for the lower lash and I'll be mixing both the browns the crease shade as well as the darker brown shade and then like blend it all over and since it's Diwali it's time for some liner as well as so I would have just popped on a mascara and I was ready to go but Diwali had to kuch extra to banta hai. so yes I'll be going on with this liner so I'm done doing my eyeliner and you can already see the difference it's looking so glammy and so festive like so yes moving on with the mascara i'll be using this maybelline colossal mascara so you can see what a mascara literally does to uplift the eye look 
you can see how much length and volume it has provided moving forward with the blush i'll be using this wet and wild color icon blush in the shade mellow wine and i'll be applying this blush only on the high points of my cheek so that it gives me that uplifted look using the wet and wild highlighter in the shade precious petals so last i'll be using this lip liner from wet and wild in the shade chestnut For the lipstick I'll be going in with the Inside Cosmetics lipstick in the shade 01 Joyful. For creating that ombre effect I'll be using this lipstick from Elf Cosmetics in the shade T Rose and I'll be applying this only on the centers of my lips. Finally I'll just be spitzing this makeup fixer from this brand Swiss Beauty for the final touch. So this is how my final look turned out and I have paired this up with silver earrings. It is a very unique design and I got this from an Instagram store. If I find the handle I'll link it below. The footwear are from West Side. Outfit I got both my kurta and the plazo set from a market in Lucknow as Lucknow is famous for chicken curry work. So this is how the entire look turned out. It's so festive yet elegant at the same time and I'm really liking it. So that is it for this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, so please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and also do follow me on Insta and wishing you and your family a really happy and prosperous Diwali. So till then take care and meet you in my next video. Bye.